Okay, we're here with uh, Indiana State quarterback Mike Parrish. Mike, uh, it doesn't seem like we should be talking about senior day yet because you guys got three games left, but here we are. And, uh, you know, just talk about, uh, you know, it's probably not a time where you're ready to reflect, but, you know, you'll be doing a little bit of that on Saturday. Talk about uh, your time here and uh, your time playing out on that field particularly and uh, what, what you maybe are going to be thinking about on Saturday. Um, I mean, I, I try not to think much about the senior day. Uh, type of stuff because I think we got a lot of season left for us. But uh, on this field, it'll probably be our last time out on this field with uh, how the NCAA bids work and everything. Um, there's been a lot of good memories, had a lot of big wins, beat Northern Iowa this year. Um, let's see, my sophomore year, we didn't win too many big games here. But I mean, there, there's been a lot of big games. There's, I appreciate all the fans in Terre Haute and everybody that comes out. and. Uh, we're excited to go out there one more time. Yeah, Saturday's game in its way is as big as any of them that you've played. Uh, you know, talk about attacking South Dakota State defensively and maybe what they bring to the table uh, you know, in terms of their front and in terms of uh, what they try to face you with. Yeah, they're, uh, they're a four-man front and three-man front every now and then. Uh, they, they try a bunch of different stuff, and they got uh, good personnel to do it. So. Uh, it's going to be another challenge. They're a great Missouri Valley football team, just like everybody else is. They're a good defense. So uh, we're excited to go out there and uh, have another challenge this week. Obviously, this is big any week, but you know, with the way that they try to control the clock, you know, it, it kind of makes taking advantage of every possession even that much more important. Mm -hmm. You know, just talk about that aspect and, uh, you know, not leaving anything out on the field uh, when you guys have the ball. Yeah, um, the, the way they run the ball and the way they control the clock uh, just puts even more of an emphasis on making every play count and every drive count. So uh, we just got to focus on that and uh, really put together drives and finish them off. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to have a crowd out there on Saturday. You know, How much do you guys think about that as players when you go out there on the field? Do you pay much attention to that? Uh, not too much. Um, we, we usually don't have that big of a crowd, so... Uh, we really rely on each other, we rely on our teammates, the defense. When they're on the sideline, they cheer for us, and vice versa, when they're out there, we cheer for them. So um, it's a really tight-knit team, and the, just the support from each other is enough for us. So we, we pride ourselves in that, and we hope to continue that. You've been talking to the team ever. The offense gets together for fans that don't know after every Thursday practice. Uh, you know, what, what have you been? What's kind of been the theme here late in the season? Now that you guys are, are definitely playing for something, uh, what do you talk about with the guys? Uh, we we just focus on taking every day and uh, every play, one, one play at a time, and uh, working our hardest to get better when we're out at practice. And then uh, Thursday night, we just refocus ourselves, get ourselves focused on the game, and the opponent, and uh, uh, I think it helps us play better and it helps us come together more because we know that we're going to have to rely on each other. All right, Mike. I appreciate it. Thank you.